Hi, I'm Snow, and this is Gas and Go. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Gas and Go with Snow. Usually we talk about cars, but today we're at March Air Force Base and Freddie, thanks for taking the time to do this. Very All right, I appreciate you taking the time to show it. What we're gonna talk about today is my favorite airplane of all times. What do we got over here? You got an SR-71, number 6675. Okay, so how many SR-71s were there total? Uh, there was 31, it was 31 manufactured, okay. but there was another 15 that were manufactured for the CIA before the SR-71s came out. Okay, so now this impressive piece of machinery, so I'm guessing this is a replica, right? Nope, it's an actual SR-71. Oh! On the so, day that we retired it, yeah. 1990, I was on base, watching they land, they emptied all the fluids out of it, yeah. and they wheeled it over here. Okay, I'm on the way to Sturgis on my heart. And I was riding by and I saw it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop there. I haven't been here in probably 20 years. My daughter, who is now 25, she was like maybe four or five years old. And we were looking at this plane. It was sitting outside. So how would you guys get it inside? Well, you see the hangar door right there? They've all, yeah. they rolled to the sides. Right. Wheel it in. Okay. And now I imagine that it takes a lot to maintain that. So... What do you guys do as far as maintenance and stuff for the SR-71? All we do is uh, dust it because that's all it does, collect dust. <laughs> now, if it was flying, it would be every day for every hour. And yeah. SR-71 flew, you had, I think it was 80 hours, man hours, to refurbish, get everything, yeah. all the flues back on, maintenance for it. Okay. All right. Well, now, the SR-71 has some, we'll say, some unique records. Tell me a little bit about it. I mean, what was the top speed? Well, top speed on this one that was uh, on the day that they retired the 972. It flew from Los Angeles to New York City in one hour and six minutes across the whole United States. Across in an hour. the whole United States. So that's got to be a couple thousand miles an hour. Yeah. 2,193 miles an hour. Wow. Now I got I I get it from reliable sources from the maintenance men that worked on the on the J58 engines okay. that. They tested the ones that they had up in Pet, uh, the Palmdale. The, the plane could actually do Mach 4.2, but 4.2—that's 4 almost 3,000 miles an hour. Almost 4,000 miles an hour. 4,000. Yeah. Ah. But they don't fly that fast because the engines—they will overheat. Yeah. And all the all the mechanics of the engine itself could only absorb so much heat before they start breaking down. So they designed the SR-71. The, the designer, Kelly Johnson from, from Lockheed, yeah. designed it to be able to fly at Mach 3.2 for the whole mission. Yeah. And the only time they slow down was to get gas. And then they get filled up and take off again. Okay, so now I got an urban uh, myth for you. So I heard that they fill the plane up and it's ready to take off and just leaks like a sieve. And then when the plane is at you know operating height, then they do a refuel in air, and the plane has expanded so much that all the, the seals, everything's up, it stops leaking, fill it up, and then goes on the mission. That's correct. Is that true? That's true. Now, really? so how much does the plane expand in it, the air? It depends on the how fast it's going, the heat, temperature yeah. up at altitude, can vary. Right. So okay. it, it could stretch from uh, five five inches to ten inches. Really? And then when it comes back down, it cools off and it goes back to shape again. It go and every time they go up to altitude 85,000 feet yeah. at Mach 3.2, it starts stretching again and it seals all the, all the, all the tanks. It seals everything up because it, the engine, it's, I mean, not engine, the airplane yeah. itself heats up to 575 degrees, which is hotter than your... Right, the skin temperature. Your skin temperature. Wow. Now, the skin temperature... On the engine themselves, yeah. they get up to a thousand degrees. Well, so okay. just well, imagine one of the things that's the most impressive about this plane, what it was commissioned in what the sixties, right? Nineteen fifty nine, actually. Okay, fifty nine, which means this had to be designed in the early fifties, 
no computers, all longhand math. That's an engineering marvel right there. No yeah. computers back then. We didn't have that technology. We had the slide rules. Yeah. Now you had to know calculus, physics, and all that just to be able to work on it. All right. Hey, so go ahead. Get a shot of that one more time. I'll see you guys next time on Gas and Go with Snow.